Hey guys, Tisha here, and we are back with a Sister Wives Season 18 Look Back Review. I am drained because this episode took a lot out of me in writing these notes. There are parts that I have purposely left out. If one of those parts happened to be something that you wanted to discuss, feel free to put it down below in the comment section because this episode was extremely draining. Happy New Year, everybody. It is currently 2.38 and I want to make sure that I get this out to you all because for the remainder of the day, after I wake up <laughs> from my slumber, I'm just planning on relaxing. Film some other things in advance to make sure that you guys have some stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and begin. So we pick back up in this episode with Robin and her fake nervous breakdown from watching their commitment ceremony from 2013. You know, the one where she cries and manages to not even shed a tear. The one where she walks off being all dramatic, but then is going to come back later looking like nothing happened. So the director says in front of Mary, because it's now Mary's turn viewing this, that that was a good day, wasn't it? Mary says she is so mad because all of them failed themselves and it's heartbreaking to her. Christine looks at the clip and says that that was one special day that despite everything that's going on, she's always going to look back at it as special. Even Cody says that during that time he felt um, inspired, but they failed to abide by it because there wasn't enough loyalty in the family. I need for him to find another word because going, if you have any type of difference of opinion than him, then you're not loyal and it's getting old. Um, the bird returns to set and is coddled by the director with him asking if she's okay. She says, not really. And as I said before, she looks exactly the same way as she did when she was sitting on that couch before she started her non-Emmy performance. Uh, she has on a full face of makeup, you all. And we're supposed to believe that she stormed off crying when she comes back with the same exact looking face. No puffiness, no redness, no flushness, nothing. It's the same sobbing that we always see. So she says, it's just too hard to look at what they did with her, her present reality. Poor Robin. We go from the commitment ceremony to seeing the ladies on segways. Janelle says that their trips were always fun and a good escape from the family problems. Mary feels like they loosened up more on these trips and had a better time because Cody wasn't around. And I want to know why that is. Seems like a lot of them watched how they spoke or the things that they did when it came to Cody. And I just don't think it's healthy to be in a relationship where you have to walk like you're on eggshells. Christine said that she liked being a sister wife at times more than she liked being a wife. Where the bird feels like the memories looking back at this clip were good, but were they even real? I need her to direct that statement to her husband because he's the one who's been stringing everyone along and letting us know that he never really loved them. Mary says that they aren't close now, that she doesn't want to feel like what they had was a lie. She would like to at some point mend things with them, but she's not holding her breath for healed relationships. Christine says that when it comes down to it, she just trusts Janelle and only desires to have a relationship with her. We then see this clip from of Mary in 2014 saying that she had an appointment with the lawyer to find out about getting a legal divorce so that Robin and Cody can get married and can come back and adopt the kids. I'm letting you all know now that I did not watch a lot of that season. I guess I'll be watching it soon on the rewatch, but I didn't watch it because I was starting to get annoyed with a lot of the things that I saw going on with the family. Like it was blatantly obvious that Cody was treating some of his wives poorly. Regardless of what Mary has said in this clip and what she said in previous seasons, I do believe that Robin and Cody guilted her into doing that. So 
we see they're in the office. Um, she, 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 no, they weren't in the office yet. She told him that she was going to do this, that she was going to go ahead and get a divorce. And Cody with his indifferent tale says, I guess all I can say is thanks. This woman is legally divorcing someone. She's divorcing you, Cody, so that you can marry legally someone else. And all you can say is, I guess that I can say thanks. So she's doing this so you can adopt children that weren't even at risk from really being removed from the home. And that's all he had. Robin begins to walk to her and cries and hugs. Mary says that the decision was very hard on her. Present day, she's saying this. But the kids wanted to be adopted and she wanted to make sure that they were part of the family. Mary's dumb. We see Cody asking Janelle back then if she knew about what was going on as far as the conversation that Mary had with them. And Janelle says yes. And Janelle immediately began worrying about if it would change the dynamic. Now, Cody took it as her thinking about the dynamic as far as Mary was concerned, but I really to this day think that Janelle was talking more so about how Robin would act. Janelle says it doesn't matter that much with it being changed to uh, Robin, but it does mean that she would have control over the assets. I need Janelle to be more honest about this situation because she's not saying how she really felt. She knew that she trusted Mary more in that regard and she can't trust Robin with that. She says Mary was always very honorable and very loyal. And then she fixes it and says, I'm not saying that Robin isn't. I'm just saying that I didn't really know Robin at that time. You guys see why I say keep an eye on Janelle? Because that's that's not how you truly felt. You just didn't trust her. And that's all you had to say. We see Mary sign the divorce paper. She's crying, but Cody doesn't seem to be comforting her as much as he's comforting Robin. I don't know how Robin manages to make everything about her. Present day, she's saying about how painful that moment was and that she didn't want to do it, but she would do it all over again. Yes, you heard me correctly. Mary said she would do it all over again. I'm done with Mary. I can't feel bad for her anymore. At this point, we can all agree that Mary needs therapy. Mary needs to learn her self-worth and she needs it quick. The fact that she has been treated the way that she has by these people, the fact that certain lies have come out about Robin and about her previous relationship and how these kids weren't at risk of being removed and all these other things that we now know, she's sitting here in present day telling us that she would do it again. What is wrong with Mary? Cody says that the agreement that they had was always that all of the non-legitimate marriages, the ones that weren't considered equal, were still legitimate. And he feels that the reason why, what did I write there? Oh, the reason why that may have been, <laughs> I don't know what my name said, the beginning of the end is because this was some kind of power move from Mary to be in that position. Mother bleep 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 <laughs> How was that a power move? That wasn't a power move. It was a sacrifice. Mary deciding to divorce him was a sacrifice of how she felt. It wasn't what she really wanted to do. She did it because she thought that these kids needed it. And this dummy didn't even recognize it. He says once Mary was no longer in that position, weird things started happening. She got catfished and she talked about leaving the family. So one of those weird things wasn't that her husband stopped loving her 
or that her husband stopped being emotionally there for her or that her husband stopped being intimate with her. Okay, we're just going to keep blaming the catfish because that's all Cody has. He says she disappeared for weeks on end. That this breakdown shouldn't have happened over a paperwork shuffle. <sighs> He's full of manure. He's full of the type of manure that, that, the, that the animal who does the most pooping. Which animal does the most pooping? <laughs> That's the type of manure he's full of because the fact that he's sitting here and his, his wife that he's been married to at this point for over 20 years decided to not just divorce you, but do it so that you can marry this new woman. Forget about your other two wives. It was just about this new woman and her kids. And you don't see that that was a sacrifice for her. And you can't see how maybe that was the final nail in the coffin because you didn't really show that you cared about what she did and you were thankful for it. Instead, you feel like she did it because it was some type of power move. They watch clips from the trip to Sedona retreat. And Christine says that this is when she knew um, that the marriage was really broken. I think Christine knew that the marriage was many, really broken so many times that at this point, I don't know when the marriage was broken because it seems like it happened, it was broken as soon as they got on TV. Honestly, like once Robin came into the picture, that's when we started hearing all the different things from Christine. So the Sedona treat was in like season six, okay? Goodness, she held on for a long time. Anyway, so there was this exercise that the family all did where they were all supposed to stand. Cody was standing there and all the wives were supposed to adjust themselves according to how feel, how they, how close they felt to Cody. So we saw them stand and it was kind of awkward. And then it was suggested by Christine that Cody stand in the middle. And he said he didn't want to be in the middle because he did not want their relationship to have to involve him. Janelle present day while watching this clip rolls her eyes. Christine present day says that she was frustrated with him during this exercise because she felt like this was just an example of Cody being lazy because Cody wasn't willing to do certain things like put in the work in order to have his family run smoothly. Meanwhile, you have Cody present day saying that he wanted them to work as a team, all five of them. Well, maybe if he courted them like a team, then it would have been different. He said that he bet on the dream of them working as a team so hard that it broke his heart and it didn't happen. Even though he wasn't in love, because he always has to remind us that he wasn't in love, that love wasn't his focus. He said he loved them, but he wasn't in love with him. But he still feels like that could be the same thing. And the same way I pause right then, because it makes no sense, didn't make any sense when he said it on the show. <laughs> he says, maybe we're talking about people who are acting out of duty or obligation. And then there are those who are easy to love because it just flows. It's natural. So he was with the other wives out of duty and obligation. And Robin was his natural flow. Present day, Janelle says he should have been in the center of the wheel because when he is standing outside, it creates a situation where he's always going to be closer to closer to one more person than the other. And when he's in the middle, then he can adjust himself to have like an equal distance from all of them. But I guess that just shows how they really were never on the same page. He, well, they all feel like they wanted to be united, but they didn't achieve it. We then see this meeting, a clip from 2019 in Flagstaff when Janelle called a meeting for the family to talk about what they even wanted with plural marriage. Cody said that he told friends recently he didn't want to be an advocate for plural marriage anymore because now he's more aware of just how unfair it can be sometimes in the relationship. Janelle says that at that point, she felt some distance from him. 
The bird then speaks up saying that Cody had always had this dream of them living together in the one house, but Christine was very against it. And so was Mary. And so was Robin. See, I read the book. And in the book, what was said was that at, at some point, Janelle said it and Robin admitted it, that she had offered for Robin and her children to live in her area of the house because she had this space. And Robin decided that she did not want to live in the one house with them because she wanted her own area. Robin even confirmed that. And she said she wanted her own space. And I saw how when Cody asked that question, Robin never answered it. Neither did Mary. Mary said, I know what I want to say, but I'm going to just wait and see what everybody else says first. Because Mary already knew that it was going to be problematic if she said that she didn't want to stay there. Right? The only person who was adamant about the one house was Janelle. She was the main one who wanted it. She was the one who was excited to see the layout and all those other things where the other ladies weren't really into it, right? The bird says, he came home away from that conversation wondering if plural marriage was fair to women. No, he didn't because if he really felt that way and if he really came home from that conversation feeling like that, then he would have adjusted his behavior from that point on and he didn't. Instead, what he did was he got worse. Mary said, if he felt like polygamy wasn't fair to women, then he should have made it fair, which he should have. I agree with Mary. Christine says, she looks at it like, okay, I'm glad he's saying all of this now because it was clear that there was an imbalance and it was clear that he had a favorite wife and that's where he spent most of his time. That's where he put most of his time. Present day, Cody does not feel like it was unfair because he feels like they can leave. He said they choose to be in it or they can choose to be out of it. It's going to break everybody's heart. It's going to be a mess. Maybe you shouldn't choose to be in it if you can't choose to be committed. This is all stuff that Cody was saying. He has all this disdain and all this visceral and all this advice for these wives, but he chooses not to listen to his own advice. So you're saying that these women shouldn't have, have joined the family if they couldn't stay committed here as you didn't stay committed. He stopped trying to better himself. He stopped trying to grow. He stopped trying to love because what did he do? He admitted to his friends what he did. When one of the wives got on his nerves or pissed him off, he went to the other wife. He left that one, kind of punished them by removing himself from the situation, not being involved with them, and then going on to the next one. Robin says, she never knows if it was other things that were going on or if it was her that caused all of this. And it kills her. Oh, please. Who believes that? Who? Who? <laughs> Janelle says that at the time when she had that whole discussion in the um, restaurant, she wasn't trying to pin it on Robin because there was so much things going on that wasn't her intentions and that who knows like what really happened. I need Janelle to stop flip-flopping. She knows that part of the problem is Robin. But Janelle just, she going to get on my nerves sometimes because that's what she does. Christine says that she really didn't believe that Robin wanted uh, the family anymore. She said, she said that she did, but she didn't see the proof. So she doubted uh, Robin's sincerity. The bird claims that she doesn't have any incidents where she purposely tried to hurt anyone or she didn't try to get Cody to do more for her than he did for others. So then why was it that Robin got the nanny and why was it that Robin got the first pick of homes and why was it that Robin got the million dollar home? Why was it that none of Robin's kids could share a room when for years the other kids had to share rooms? Why did she get an additional additional help from Cody when it came to getting these kids ready for school, even though uh, they had a nanny? Robin is a liar. She says she knows her intentions. 
Mary said she will put the blame on Cody and not Robin, that they had such a good relationship that it was easy for him to step away. But if Robin is supposed to be this good sister wife and she's supposed to be an advocate, shouldn't she have spoken up on the behalf of her sister wives when she saw that Cody was spending so much time with her? Robin admitted to clocking Cody at times. So she knew that Cody was with her a lot. See what I'm saying here? Cody says... With that whole scene, with them being at that restaurant, he just wanted to know if the ladies were married to him just for the relationship or because they 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 felt stuck. Like, did they want to be with me because they wanted me or did they feel stuck with me? He said, looking back at it, Christine looked stuck. He felt stuck and he already knew that he didn't want to be married to Mary anymore. But we're supposed to believe, even with him saying all of this, that he felt stuck and Christine looked stuck and he knew he didn't want to be married to Mary anymore, that these women were supposed to want one house. Come on. He doesn't want his family uh, broke. He says he doesn't want them broken up. And he was still trying to figure things out in that time period. Present day, Christine says at that point, she was out of their religion and things weren't going the way they were supposed to. And that conversation just freaked her out. We then see the next clip from the conversation that they had in 2020 about the ground rules for a conversation. These adults at this time had been together for 10 years and they still have to have rules for how to speak to one another. Insane. Cody says he doesn't want to write anything down there because he doesn't give a sugar honey iced tea anymore. Present day, Christine's mouth pops open. He says, it feels like whenever we met, there was this lack of respect for the values of others and that he's at a point now where he sees his family as an obstacle to his own goals. And you wonder, Cody Brown, why your adult children don't want to deal with you. Janelle said that this was the first time that she felt like he was verbalizing that he no longer wanted to be in plural marriage. And that when he said, I see my family as an obstacle, she was like, oh yeah, what a selfish bastard you are. So why didn't she tell him that? Why are we just now seeing this clip of her saying that? I need more of that energy from Janelle because when Janelle gets like that and when Janelle gets mad and she sews that side, I like Janelle. The bird claims Cody was in a dark place at this time because this was just after COVID. So because he's in a dark place, he's allowed to belittle other people in Nike Check's eyes. Janelle says, we don't have the same values from Cody equals you don't believe in what Robin and I believe or you don't value the things that we do. Christine says, what are your values? Because in marriage, you're supposed to grow together. He said, the values that we don't share are the values of one big family. Cody only values the one big family for the optics, for his ego, and on paper. If you don't call to check in on your children, if you would allow, have allowed this much time to go past without really uh, reconciling with them and being on one page and going back and having family stuff with them, then you are the problem. And it's his fault. Janelle says, bottom line, the responsibility is Cody's to make sure that all of his families are taken care of, that there are many plural families that don't even live together. Perfect example is Robin and her family. We know that they didn't live together. Mary said he was okay with the OG3 not being in his life. Browse, on the other hand, thought that they were going to get better. And she remembers him saying that he didn't even know if this is what he wanted anymore. So if Robin heard him say that she, that he said that he didn't know if this is what he wanted anymore, why does she act so surprised that he was having difficulties with wives like Christine? Thanks for telling on yourself yet again. Mary feels that it's so heartbreaking to see this man who was once this person who cared so much about family now not care. Cody says his life mission was to make his family whole and functional. Actions speak louder than words. He whispers, 
they're never going to work together. They don't care. And I'm trying to figure out why when he's saying this, TLC is playing all this sappy music to make Cody seem like he's really coming from this emotional place where he cares. These producers and this director are really like sitting there sucking up to Cody, letting him get away with it. And I'm just tired of it. The next clip is the 2022 breakup with Mary and Cody. Uh, Mary wasn't making an effort according to Cody, but she was. Mary says he was confused and Cody basically was annoyed with how whenever they got together, Mary would blame him. He wanted her to kiss his tail, suck up to him, make his ego be padded and dumb herself down to be continued to, uh, to basically get any type of anything from him. He says, she needed to put in the work basically because I wasn't the one who got catfished and I didn't kick me out. Why are you blaming me? There's a reason I don't trust you and there's a reason she's not safe. All Cody has, as I said before, is the catfish. Mary was wrong and Mary didn't own it and Mary could have really got us on her side by telling us more about the bad stuff that went on, like him melting the ring and all those other things, instead of trying to protect Cody. He feels pressure for satisfying emotional needs of a wife that he has no interest in satisfying. He wonders why the unhappy ones just don't leave. Find something to make them happy instead of badgering him about how he's not doing it right. Mary, once again, wants him to just say, hey, Mary, this isn't going to work for us. I think you should leave. But that's exactly what he basically said in her face. You're badgering him to want to hug you and to kiss you and, and to be intimate with you. And he don't want to do it. So the girl just don't get it. Christine says he wasn't just talking about Mary when they had that conversation. He was talking about her. She said, and then I leave. And he's like, why did Christine leave? That came out of the blue. Oh my gosh. She laughs and says it's ridiculous and he needs to have some accountability and get a mirror put in front of his face. And I do agree with that. Cody does not see the things that he does wrong. Cody tries to say that the reason why he was so angry at that point was because Mary and some of the other wives were talking about how they would get along so much better if Cody was dead. And that's yet another lie, okay? They show the clip. And that was not something that they just talked about because Mary and him had that conversation in 2022. When they initially were talking about Cody dying and all that other stuff, it was when Cody and the wives went to go see Cody's mother to go check on Cody's mom and Janelle's mom because the father and the brother had passed. They were talking about Curtis and all those other things when this was going on. Curtis passed in 2013. So how can something from 2013 still be bothering you in 2022? Make it make sense. <sighs> Cody then in his most dramatic tone says, F you. So I suffer in poor marriage, sacrificing, sacrificing, sacrificing. It ain't all beer and Skittles. For you to finally like her when I'm dead? <laughs> For you to care about her children when I'm dead? <laughs> no. You guys get in line now or get out. And they just got out. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. All right. We then see a clip in 2021. I told you they were jumping all over the place of Christine telling Cody that she needed to be free. This is when she was letting him know I'm out. I'm out of here. I need you to let me go. Christine says when they had that conversation and it was finally over, she felt good because she lived her, her life so long trying to please him, trying to put him first, trying to, you know, suppress herself for him. And now she was able to just be brave and to just let it go. He then says, I'm glad she was brave enough to do it because I wasn't in love with her. As much as he tried to love her, it just wasn't working. He says she called me a, a, a coward because I was never willing to break up with her. And 
in their religion that's not really allowed and that's why he didn't do it and he's been the prisoner there and he just can't go and he just want to just be like hey hey b i'm done with you but tlc wants us to think that he's a good guy he just wants to say hey b i'm done with you but he's supposed to be a good guy this guy that's sitting there demeaning his wife at, at some point, the mother of six of his children, the person who not only raised those children, but other ones as well, taught them and all that other stuff, but she's a B. He says a polygamous husband says that he can't deal with the woman anymore. He goes to the church, just goes through all these different channels to be told that he has to stay. I don't think that's true because we've told of, we've been told of different instances where polygamous wives and their husbands were no longer together and they got divorced. Christine says that was the day she focused on her and she just took her power back and reset herself to be worried about herself and her kids. And that was good for her. The next clip is the knife in the kidney speech, okay? We're not going over all the ins and outs of it. I'll cover certain parts. So as soon as she starts watching it, Robin says, I can't watch this. I'm sorry. I don't want to start having another panic attack. So now Robin is calling that stuff that she does where she's like. <laughs> That's a panic attack. <laughs> I don't mean no harm to anyone. Please understand. I used to have panic attacks all the time. Had to have medication for it and everything like that. Thank goodness I'm not where I used to be anymore. Learn how to work through some of it. But with that being said, Robin is not having a panic attack. A panic attack when she does that. Robin is putting on a show. What is this girl talking about? I can't stand her. According to her, Robin, that was a very, 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 very painful day. We get reminded of Cody saying that Christine has treated Robin like dirt from the very beginning, and that's the reason why he was pissed off. Uh, it's like a knife in the kidney for all these years. The sacrifices that he's made to love her just wasted. Uh, if you don't remember the whole clip, go back and watch some of my old videos. Shameless plug. He said that what we saw there was real raw emotion. And what teed him off was Robin kind of groveling for Christine to just be her friend. Like, why does she even want to be friends with Christine? Christine said, I never said it was over. All I said was I just needed space. Janelle in present day says, anytime that Robin is slighted, we've seen it. Cody gets upset, he gets angry, he tries to shut things down, or he blows up, and it's always in regards to Robin. Mary says, in that moment, she felt a lot of pain, but she also felt in the middle. She felt like she didn't have a place with Janelle and Christine because they had their own relationship that she wasn't a part of, but she also wasn't a part of the relationship between Cody and Robin either, so she was just in the middle. But at that point, she was still trying to get in Cody's good graces, and she wanted to be with Cody, so she sided with him and defended with him. We already knew this, but her saying it now to me is too little too late. She says, truthfully, she disagrees with some of the things that both Christine and Cody did. Cody says that that there was a woman, like completely doesn't acknowledge any of that stuff, right? He says there was a woman that was courting, uh, I guess he was courting for a while or whatever. Her and Janelle were friends. After he got married, Christine to Christine, he wanted to revisit that woman and Christine shut it down. I don't think that's what the book says. The book told us that there was another woman that they were supposed to be marrying and it didn't work out. And then Christine came into the picture. So I don't know what Cody's talking about. And apparently neither does Christine because Christine says there was no girl. No other girl wanted to even marry Cody. So she doesn't even understand why he's bringing up that up or if it's relevant. He's, he is saying that he's bringing it up because it's just an example of a sacrifice he made. Janelle claims that she would have decked him if he made that whole statement about the sacrifice. Janelle, no, you wouldn't because... He said crazy things to her and we didn't see her do anything. We see that after all that yelling, Janelle's embrace um, to Christine meant so much. Christine says in that moment, 
She knew that the yelling had nothing to do with her and everything to do with the bird being bothered. We then see that the next clip is going to be of Janelle and Cody's argument. Even though we've seen this fight multiple times, Cody doesn't want, want to talk about it because it hurts him. He said, if F it, I'm not going to watch that again. I don't want to talk about my breakup with Janelle anymore. It's painful. It's as bad as how it was with Christine. I didn't know it was bad with Christine, but apparently it was bad with Christine. He's still struggling. Um with what's going on with him and Janelle. She's not a loyal wife. He's probably not a good husband, but he doesn't care. They're not working and he doesn't want to talk about it. So then why not play the clip? Janelle said it started off with him wanting apology from her boys. Then it turned into with Robin prompting that he just wanted to have a conversation with them. Christine says, at the end of the day, you're always a parent. And because you're always a parent, you have to be the adult in the situation. And Cody should have reached out to the guys. She said that in a perfect world, Janelle did, he would have wanted her to stand up against her children with him. And as a result, because she didn't and she stood up for her kids, he lost his crap. Present day, Janelle claims she'll be fine if she never has to interact with Cody again. I'll believe it when I see that she says she's divorced. Last clip. Thank goodness, because I was over this episode. Sorry, y'all, if this review is trash. Just was over it. 2022, the breakup with Cody and Mary. Mary wishes that he would take accountability and just say that he loved her then realize that he didn't. She doesn't feel like it's fair. He says, okay, I was a little harsh in saying that I wasn't in love with her, but she beat the love out of me after our first year of marriage. So that implies that he stopped loving her after a year. He then said from the beginning that they had a lot of problems. So diluting it was the only option he had. So he got another wife because he couldn't imagine having to spend all his time with Mary. And yet Mary is still sitting here trying to protect him when he speaks so harshly about Mary. I think that Mary has her qualms about her, but I don't think that Mary deserves for Cody to treat her like this. And I really want Mary to do what so many others have suggested and to get help, number one. I want her and Janelle to combine and Christine to combine, get that lawyer, get that forensic accountant and get them where it hurts, which is in their pockets. But Mary's still trying to protect him, so she probably wouldn't do it. Um, when Cody said that he was acting, that was very true because for him to say that and the way he said that, I believe that there's some truth to it because he did get a wife each time there was a problem. He got Christine to help balance out the problems that were going on with Janelle and Mary. So there is some truth to it. Cody didn't want their family to break up. He didn't want dysfunction and he didn't want to go through all the stuff that they went through over these 20 years. He should have worked on himself then. He says, there's no victims. It's sad and sadness makes him angry, but they'll be all right. They'll be okay. The bird says that they weren't following the mission statement, that they weren't looking at each other with charity and love. Should talk to her husband about that. They let, uh, the ease of living apart, drive them apart from each other. They saw how bad things got with them when they were in Vegas and the furthest person was a mile apart. How could you dummies think that a move to Flagstaff following behind Robin's child wouldn't mess you all up? They didn't do that right. They were dumb in even purchasing Coyote Pass, thinking that they could do the same thing there as they did in Vegas because there's no infrastructure there. There's a lot of money that they have to put into that thing. She says they let COVID drive them apart. They held on to grudges. They didn't let them go. They left, let fear, jealousy, and selfishness drive them away. They failed, they screwed up, and they're all going to have to deal with it. And I need her to look at her husband and say all those things because majority of that applies to him. Not saying that the other wives didn't play their parts because they allowed this man to walk over them for all of these years. They allowed him to mistreat them and to do these things i understand because some of you are going to say that they were in this situation where they were taught this and all those other things i get it but at some point 
a lot of them saw some of the writing on the wall. Christine admitted that she stopped, you know, even believing in the whole religion at some point. And I feel like it's caused so much more confusion all because they hung around longer than they should have. I, I, they should have left earlier. But that's all I have for now. You guys, thank you so much. I'm almost at that goal of that thousand, well, the first goal of a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not done so already, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? I'm not going anywhere. You might as well do it because you're going to, you know, come here from time to time and check in on me. And if you want to talk about something, as I said earlier, that I did not mention, feel free to put it down in the comment section. Until next time.